7.46. Got some blues for you this morning. Oh, yeah. Blue skies. I love it. Clouds out there with them. But uh, nothing to get the blues about weather-wise today. It's going to be a beautiful day yeah. with a high of around 92 or so. Peach ice cream day. Is it? Well, it's just it perfect, be? you know? Yeah. Just perfect for that. That's right. And I don't know about the peach ice cream. I think you need to take the peaches and put them on the ice cream, okay? That's pretty good, too. Uh, and with, the, with that syrup stuff, man, I think I'm you can you. lose either way, sir. Yeah, either hey, way. that's for sure. It's a 747 as we continue our candidate interviews. And in the House this morning, uh, District 5 candidate, Mr. Reed Pell. Reed is running against Gordon Heitzman, who we just met, <laughs> Philip Ballard, who we hope to have next week, and incumbent Kathy, Kathy Coffey, who we hope to get next week as well. So, Reed, thanks for being here. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself, Reed. Uh, what do you do? Uh, your family? Uh, time in the Valley? Stuff like well, that? I was uh, born and raised in the West Valley area. I'm 64 years of age. I have two children, a 34-year-old son, a 26-year-old daughter. They're both teachers. One uh, one teaches in Seattle, one teaches in the Tri-Cities. Um, I uh, have lived in Yakima inside the corporate city limits since 1977. From 1950 till uh, 1976, I lived in the county out in the West Valley area. Graduated from West Valley High School in 1969. Attended two years of community college at uh, YVC. Transferred to Central Washington University, graduated from Central Washington University in 1973 with a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science and a minor in Geology. Went to Gonzaga University Law School uh, in 19, uh, starting in 1973, graduated from the law school in 1976 and have uh, essentially been a practicing attorney here in Yakima since that time. That's kind of the... Uh Good old Yakima way, right? Yeah. Couple at YVC, head up to yeah. Central, head can't, out from there. I mean, you, that's, you can't get much more local than that. <laughs> that's that's right. what I was going to say. That's, that's, the, right. that's the path. You right. <laughs> and you came back. And I came back. Yeah, pretty cool. Well, one uh, of the questions we're asking everybody, uh, Reen, is uh, what's your understanding of the jobs, the responsibility of being a city council person? Well, I think it's uh, incumbent upon the city council to uh, adopt some policies and uh, see that those policies are implemented by the city staff. Short and sweet. Why are you running, Reed? Uh, I know that you have probably a number of different different reasons, but tell us uh, the well, main reasons. Uh, the, the main reason is uh, I, I've never held any political office before. And uh, it was uh, several years ago I was involved in some litigation involving a, a tenant of the Acma Airport. And uh, incident to uh, that litigation, I began watching the Yakima City Airport board meetings. Uh, and I started watching those, and I started watching uh, the city council meetings. Well, uh, CTV, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you got it. And uh, I, uh, I, I just saw a lot of uh, decisions that I felt uh, were not uh, investigated enough by uh, city council members, uh, present company accepted. Hmm. And... Um, I just uh, I saw a lot of decisions being made that I was uh, I felt were wrong, and as a matter of fact, this airport thing ended up being a uh, absolute fiasco. I mean, the city's been sued for millions. Uh, they've sued their former attorney for malpractice, and uh, uh, I, I, that's kind of how I got involved. Really, I started watching the city council meetings and the airport board meetings uh, on a regular basis. And just want to get in there yourself. That's correct. Right on. So bringing a, um, a lawyer's background uh, and a Yakima Valley perspective, uh, skills and abilities that you have, do you think that would uh, best serve you and, and make you an effective counsel? Well, of course, um, I have a law degree. Uh, I have um, been involved both uh, personally and as an attorney in the development of real estate uh, in inside the city of Yakima and outside the city of Yakima in the county. Uh, I've got a real estate license. Uh, I think uh, from what I can see, the issues that are coming before the council seem to be a lot of legal issues, and there seem to be a lot of real estate issues. I think I can uh, bring some skills to the city council that uh, uh, are well needed. Um, Yakimanian. True and true, it looks, sounds like. I mean, even though you're in the county, I mean, we'll still call you Yakima yeah, that's all right. years. Uh, what's, uh, what do you think is the best thing about Yakima? It's a short commute to work. Ah, 
I love that. Okay. Uh, can't beat that, my friend. And, you know, it's got, uh, it's still got kind of what I feel is a small town type atmosphere. I mean, uh, there's, there's no, uh, uh, traffic jams. Uh, you've got all four seasons. I enjoy the four seasons. Uh, you can go to the west and get up into the mountains. It's got fishing, recreational opportunities. And if, uh, we don't have what you like here in Yakima, then go to Portland or Seattle and you can get the big town atmosphere. So proximity and quality of life, I guess. That's correct. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's uh, let's talk about uh, the other side of that coin. Uh, as a council member, uh, you get to cheerlead for the good stuff. You also get to try to solve the bad. Um, what are some of the bigger challenges facing Akima as you assess the job? Well, I think the biggest challenge is, and depending upon who you talk to, uh, um, it's either a perception that Yakima is not safe or it's not safe. And somehow uh, we've got to either change that perception uh, or we've got to uh, bring some more resources to the table with regards to the uh, safety issue. Uh, that seems to be a big issue with the uh, citizens. And I, I know that depending upon who you talk to, uh, some people will say, well, it's as safe as any place else. And it may, may in fact be so. Uh, I think we need to definitely have some type of uh, uh, economic uh, stimulus uh, in the downtown area uh, to get that, uh, as you drive up and down Yakima Avenue, you see vacant building after vacant mm -hmm. building after vacant building. and uh, So we need to take some steps to uh, get the downtown going. KIT News time is 7.52. We are speaking right now with District 5 candidate Reed Pell for the Yakima City Council. Reed, a number of things already in motion. Get your, t get your take on these, these issues. First of all, what's your take on, the, on that proposed downtown plaza? <laughs> As it's presently presented, uh, I'm opposed to it. I think it's just uh, too expensive. It's going to remove uh, a large part of the downtown parking, and uh, I think there are other alternatives that can be uh, better utilized to uh, reinvigorate the downtown. How about the uh, marijuana, the uh, retail ban on marijuana in the city of Yakima? I'm uh, in agreement with that ban. It's uh, still a federal crime. Uh, and I think uh, I would uh, concur with the decision to ban retail outlets. Some of the controversy that the city's had to deal with has to do with public art, uh, from uh, where to place the, uh, I call it the bighorn horn in front of the, the depot there and where that could or shouldn't have gone to the... Uh, uh, the sighting of, of the, the ball to uh, bins of light. What's, what's your general sense for uh, public art in its place in, in Yakima? Well, my general sense is that uh, one person's art is another person's trash, to be quite honest with you. Uh, and uh, I don't think the uh, city should be expending substantial amounts of money to put up uh, what they feel subjectively is, uh, is art. And... Um, uh, let's leave that to the art galleries and the uh, museums. How about the uh, city's role in economic development, Reed? I think the uh, rules and regulations that uh, uh, govern uh, development and subdivisions in the city of Yakima need to be more streamlined. I don't think it's a user-friendly system. Uh, I think it's an adversarial-type system. I think it's a slippery slope when the city starts buying private properties and uh, and developing them for sale uh, to, to to the public. And uh, uh, I'm kind of a believer in the uh, free enterprise system. Mm -hmm. Will eventually work that. Would you be, are you out. referencing the um, mini mart? Yes, 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 right, right, right. Correct. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. um, what about uh, we've heard a little bit of what you, what you think about public safety and how the perception or the reality, whichever it truly happens to be, in, in the lives of some people are an issue. Um, your general thoughts on, on public safety in Yakima? It's uh, uh, the progress made, progress to be made. Uh, what might be done? That sort of well, thing. Well, I think there's been a substantial amount of progress made. Uh, I really do. Uh, um, I think uh, more can be done, but uh, to be quite honest with you, uh, I'm sure that if we interviewed uh, Chief Chief Reese, he'd say he's doing everything possible to make the city of Yakima a safe place. And uh, if we need to allocate more resources to do that, then we've got to do that. All right. Um, 7.55. Uh, let me ask you this. What 
A lot of people are uh, that are in, not necessarily yourself. We're going to find that out here in a second. But a lot of people who are running are running because uh, uh, of the historic nature of this, that all seven seats are open uh, under the, the past configuration. There would be the three at-large seats would be open. Uh, no, the four districted seats would be open right now. Would you be running if it weren't for the ACLU case that's kind of opened everything up? Yes. Okay. And and what is your take on the ACLU? Would you continue that appeal uh, in terms of uh, uh, the $1.8 million that's hanging out there? And, and what's your understanding of what might be waiting in the wings, depending on what happens in Texas? I would continue that appeal. Uh, I think we've got uh, $1.8 million riding on that appeal. We spent a substantial amount of resources on it to date. Why drop it at this date? And... Uh, and then be in the unfortunate position a year from now when the uh, Supreme Court rules on that Texas case that would have been uh, in our favor, and yet we've 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 dropped it. And uh, so uh, there are I, candidates who feel that way, though. Mm-hmm. And we just want to know if you. I'm opposed, opposed uh, to, to that that? Uh, that position. Gotcha. I mean. Seven fifty-seven. Read uh, kind of last word is yours. Uh, we have thousands of listeners if not millions, across the valley. Valley, Hey, Radio Pup, they're all around the world. That's right. Uh, Hey, if they could all vote for you sitting here right in front of you right now, what would you tell them? I would tell them that um, uh, if they're they're happy with the way uh, uh, where where Yakima finds itself now under the uh, uh, current uh, council leadership of the incumbent, uh, she has been a member of a majority block for the last eight years. So We're talking she, about Kathy Coffey. That's here. correct. That's correct. Uh, she's been a member of that majority block, uh, and uh, she has voted consistently with that majority. We're, we're where we're at now. Uh, because of her votes and other council members that agreed with her, uh, I believe that uh, there's t- it's time for a change. I think uh, I'll bring a uh, a new thought process to the council, and I think I've got the skills. And uh, I've been involved in private businesses. I'm an attorney. I'm a real estate agent. Uh, I've got the skills that'll be helpful to the city. Well, Reed, we pre- appreciate your time. Yeah. There's a four-person race. Uh, two of you move on. If you're one of them, love to have you back and uh, spend a little more time with you and ask uh, some more questions specifically about your plans and what have you. But uh, we wish you the best of good luck. Thank you, Reed. Thank appreciate you. you stepping up. Uh, it's not uh, something that everybody does. And so for those who uh, choose to uh, to seek the support of their community, we salute you and we'll uh, hopefully talk to you down the road. I'll be happy to come back. All right. Reed Belt. Candidate for District Number 5, 758. You're tuned to The Source, AM 1280 and FM 99.3, News Talk, KIT.